For those that don't know, I am a former on-air personality. I go by Tez, a.k.a. Mr. He Did It. And as I transition into this podcast space, what better way to get comfortable than to do it with the people that I am most comfortable with. So I reached out to my former co-workers at 105.7 The Beat in Meridian, Mississippi. Meet Jigga JT. Wow, all good. What's up, Tess? What's up, boy? Chilly, How you doing, chilly, man? Chilly, good chilly. to see you, pal. I can't complain, man. You too, bro. How you yeah. holding up in this pandemic? Hey, man, just trying to stay safe and maintain it, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Blessed, in other words. So, um, right, I'm good, man. I'm good. How you doing out there? Man, I can't complain, man. Same thing, you know, trying to keep myself and the family safe. All right, so let's, let's get right to it. So how did you get introduced into, into radio? I actually got introduced to the radio, man, you know, when I went to Grambling, you know what I'm saying, played up in the band, uh, you know what I'm okay. saying, I was the hype man. I was actually the announcer for the band, you know, you know and I used to hang out with a couple of guys. I used to DJ, his name was uh, DJ Randy Rand, and he was like, hey, bro, you know, why don't you try DJing, you know? I became the MC. I was actually yeah. the school MC before I actually was the DJ. So, you know, Rand, Randy actually graduated, and um, hey, you know, everything just uh, kind of fell into my hands from now. And then I just became the man, just started DJing, just started working at the radio station. Blossom from now. Right. Yeah. So do you remember the actual transition from uh being a hype man to actually being on the radio? I know it was I heard it was a college, a college radio station first. Yeah, we actually worked at uh 91.5 KGRM man. And, um, you know what I'm saying? I used to do way back Wednesday. You know what I'm saying? I think Cal used to come on after me, if I'm not mistaken, or you know, he was in a uh, you know, trying to get a show or whatever. Right. So um, you know, they actually uh, you know, they wanted me to teach him. So yeah, man, I had to always get on him and, you know, be mean to him to try to teach him, you know, to be a good DJ, you know, while we still in college doing our thing. But, yeah. <laughs> so way back Wednesday was kinda like uh throwback Thursdays. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. But you know what I'm saying, back at Grammar Show. Um, this, it was most like a jazz, uh, jazz oriented station. Okay. So it was like, you know what I'm saying? You know, when I came and I did, uh, way back Wednesday, it was, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of R&B with just a little bit of hip hop. Right. So, right. you know, that, you know what I'm saying? That was the only time that we get to play hip hop. So do you remember your first, your first break? Yeah. Yeah, was man. It, was me. it horrible? Nah, it wasn't horrible because, uh. You know, I was made for it, for real. <laughs> I turned on the but, mic and so go. So you ain't had no no mess up when you oh, first yeah. started. Oh yeah. I mean, I still mess up to this day, but you know, uh, you know, it's how you recover from it, man. Right. And then, um, you know, I was actually the hype man for the school for the band. So, okay. So shoot, man. I know when I turn on that mic, it's go time. It's go so time. It's like, you know, you know, it's like you compared it to that radio, man. You press that on that button, it's go time. Low, yo, let's right. go. Let's rock with it. Right. So how did you how did you meet uh Casual? He I know he came to the college. Yeah, yeah, I think he was trying to get on, you know, like how them little boys be doing, you know, they yeah. to, you know. <laughs> but yeah, man, you know, that was like one of the dudes that I had to like, you know, get up underneath my wing. Man, and he was, you know, he was trying to get on. So, you know, I saw like a lot of uh, you know, a lot of effort into him and uh, right. you know. So I was like, Well, hey, you know, this dude got it. I'm saying he could do a little something. Now he, he told me uh you had a name before Jiggy J T. What was the name in college? Oh, DJ JT in the mix. That's yeah. crazy. So you went, or y- y'all met, and tell me about the incident when he claimed that you claimed that he got you fired from the station. Yeah, man. You, you know, I got him on, and um, you know how the little haters do. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So that's, so like, you know, about 25 years ago, bro, I found out he was a hater. So, <laughs> yeah, but nah, man, you know what I'm saying? We, I think it was a homecoming or something like that. Yeah, that's what he said. Man. Yeah, through homecoming, and um, you know, we went to go DJ like a big old party, man. I mean, yeah. party crazy, uh, you know, like the biggest club. Um, so you know, I, you know, what I'm saying I just wanted to call in and do like a little break, like, hey, y'all come on out, you know, what I'm saying DJ JT, man, we in the mix out here, y'all come out at my boy. Oh, so he was at the he was at the station, yeah, and you were at you were out, okay. Yeah, I got so you. you know, I actually uh, called in. I think. Yeah, yeah, we actually took the break, and from now, you know what I'm saying, we didn't get permission to do it. You know how we do, man. Young yeah. college dudes, man, we got a lot of, uh, you know, you know, you know, we had, you know, a lot of fun, but I did it. And, um, yeah, yeah, man. Got, in, tr- got, got in trouble. Got in trouble. <laughs> but then, you know, I was actually getting ready to quit anyway because I had got a job actually working for the beat in Monroe. Okay, that's uh, where I was about to go. Now, you get, you, you do the college thing. Yeah. And how did you end up getting a job at the beat? Uh, did you go to the station? Or did they come to the school and check out some students? Or how does how did it work? 
it's just a little bit of both, man. Um, you know what I'm saying? The guy, the guy that actually was under um, his name was Randy Rand. So Randy Rand used to work for the B.D. Monroe. So okay. I used to, you know, say I used to trail Randy. I used to go to the B with Randy. Okay. Like I say, you know what I'm saying? I was like a shadow under him, man. You know what I'm saying? Whatever he do, that was do. Right. You know? You know, we was on a DJ committee for Grambling. Um, you know, then we started doing some, uh, you know, at the beat. Oh, well, you know, you know, Randy was working at the beat, yeah. drop the truck, you know, and I just to hang around with him, you know, and just uh, you know, just like introduce myself to everybody, you know, let them know that I want, you know, you know that I want to work and do everything, and you know, that's how I work. You know what I'm saying? Randy graduated and he moved to California, so uh, I was just like, you know, next next person in line, next man up. To, okay. To do it. What shift you start on? Uh, Remember, night night shift, night shift, and I was actually driving the truck. I actually, drove Joe the beef van around, gave our okay. CD, started from the ground up. Oh man, that's what's up, man. Yeah, I right, see. So you, you work your way up at that station. Yeah, and you started at nights. What was the shift after that? Yeah, yeah, I was actually doing nights. I was doing nights in Monroe, and then I got a better job or uh, you, you know, another position in uh, New Orleans already, yo. New okay, one hundred four point five and. Uh, you know, that was like a 98, 99, something like that. So, you know, I went over there. Was that middays or uh, prime oh, no, time? Nice. Prime time. I was always prime time. I was always the dude that screamed at you, turn up all the way, times 10. And, um, you know, that was it. Oh, that's what's up, man. So, did and out of all of this, when you were in Monroe, did you come across Mr. C or was it just casual you came across? Mr. C was at 98.3 KYA. Which, okay. Which, yeah, uh-huh, which was the beach competition. You know what I'm saying? Every now, every now and then I would see C in the streets. Right. You know saying when we'd be doing street team and they'd be doing street team, you know. But uh, you know what I'm saying? It was always cool. Yeah, but yeah. So when you left you left Monroe, uh, Casual started working at that station, I believe he said. I think Casual was doing um, the old school station. His his name was William J. What? Uh, he didn't tell me that. William J? <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah. wow. On the okay. old school station. But you know what I'm saying? We was on the beat. And um, but I think like something happened to where as uh, you know, something happened to where as casual could start doing the weekend. So we started doing okay. a home together. Okay. together. Okay. Like the you know the uh you know the weekend mix show. So you so taught him how to DJ? Is it safe to say you taught him how to DJ? Nah, I teach him how to DJ. He learned on his own. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you hey. get Monroe yeah. to New Orleans. Right. How long were you in New Orleans? I was in New Orleans until uh, Hurricane Katrina. Ah, that's like oh, oh five, oh five, like oh five, yo. Yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah. Okay, so how how was New Orleans for you working there? How was that? I loved it. Really? Wonderful. Yes, Still sir. nights. Yeah, yeah, nights. Yeah. And no contact with seeing casual while you was in New Orleans. Every, yeah, every now and then, like that, we would do a concert, a, a Bayou Classic. You know what I'm saying? They would come down and we would. You know, I would get tickets for them or whatever, whatever. Yeah. Let them come down and hang out and stuff like that. Yeah, I'll get like to... uh, nosebleed seats to the uh, Bayou Class. <laughs> you got Where any? You, you got any early early stories of casual and Mr. C? Not Something really. Something that you man. were like, I didn't, I didn't, you know, wow. Or okay. y'all didn't hang out tough like that. Like uh, casual and I hung out a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't. I didn't much really know C too much, but you know, I mean, I knew of C, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, casual and I, we like really hung out because you know what I'm saying. He was always trying to get you know onto the beat, and he would beg Chris for a job. Pretty much, so, that's what he said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he begged Chris, and Chris was like, "Man, I'm not gonna hire nobody." So, I, so you know, what Chris like, look, bro, bro, that's my dude, hire him. So Chris hired him right there on the spot. So it's not what you know, it's who you know, man. It's who you know, that's what they say, man. So when when did you come across your first PD job? Was it Meridian or somewhere else? First PD job uh, was in Meridian. I was a music director in New Orleans. Okay, like okay. Like assistant PD. Is that about uh, the same thing? Okay, assistant PD. Yeah, yeah, I was like assistant PD uh, music director out there in New Orleans. So, uh, prior, so prior to Meridian, you said Katrina kind of uh, messed up the, yeah. the New Orleans thing. So that's how you ended up in Meridian or? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Casual actually uh, looked out for me. He actually looked out for me. And, um, you know, he told him that I needed a job to come back here because, you know what I'm saying, our radio station, you know, was underwater, you know, like that. But I still yeah. want to work, though, for real. Is that why he, he left Meridian? Because I think he left and then you came to be he the PD. Casual went to Dothan. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, okay. like, one of the reasons, too. You know, a station was opened up in Dothan, so Casual wanted to go to Dothan. And he so, told, you know, the owners, like, hey, you know, Jiggy J. What's up, man? To Meridian. Yeah, yeah, we looked out, so, you know, we've been fam. You know, buku years, man. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I tell I tell Casual he was one of my first my first groupies. 
<laughs> he, was the, he was the first one to hear the Mr. He Did It. And he like, yeah, that's it right there. Yeah, that's yeah, it. yeah. Yeah, he did it, yeah. All right, so coming to Meridian, uh, did you have any expectations or uh, what was your, like, your first impressions of the town? I know coming from New Orleans, it's a big party town and yeah, yeah. a I lot mean, lively. Uh, back in the Gap, it was always considered um, a retirement town, a slow town. So, yeah. you know, we, so, so, you know, when you have kids, man, everything like real slow, you know, you get older, shoot, man, you just want to go on there, you know, and enjoy the retirement town. So, right. you know, so, you know, I wouldn't have too many expectations, man. I just know it was a, a slow town, man. You know, I get my first PD gig and just, you know, get to just um, enjoy and find out, you know, exactly what radio, you know, was about. Right. Well, uh, off top, since I've just found out that was your first PD job, I apologize for being a pain in the ass on your first PD <laughs> That's all, right, job, That's all right, but but then at the same time, you know what I'm saying, I know that we got the point across because, you know, I know I was mean to you too, so we good. I think Casual may have been worse. He used to curse no, at me. I don't think man, you ever not, cursed at me. I don't think you ever casual, cursed at me. Dude. Casual, casual. calls and what the fuck you doing? <laughs> oh, man, come on, not Casual, <laughs> He's dude. pretty bad. I used to do that to Casual too, like, okay, the CD1, CD2, don't fuck up, I'm gone, I holler at me. I used to always call him, you know, ask him what the hell he was doing on the radio, for real. Wow. Yeah. So you've been in Meridian for, I've been gone, how long I've been gone, about 13 years? I've been here, what, like 15 years? Like I said, right after Katrina. Man, time okay. fly, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, 15 I'm years, man. So what was the club scene like when you first got to Meridian? What uh, did you think I, of it? Um, I loved it, man. Like, you know, it was, like I say, you, you know, they had like a lot of, uh, I mean, we used to do, was that the flamethrower? That was like uh, when all the colleges would come to that one club. Uh-huh, and, uh, and uh, end zone. End zone, yeah. Flamethrower and yeah, yep, JC zone. building. From your perspective, I know you said you had, they had flamethrowers and stuff like that. Was was it different from New Orleans? Like when you used to DJ the club, was it oh, yeah. a hyper? Was it more, because the Meridian, they bad. Like they used to, I Meridian. got kicked out of every club in Meridian. Yeah, and Meridian, they more Atlanta-ish. You know, New Orleans, you know, they have their own style of music. You know, we have our own style of bounce. Right. You know, we, you, you know, we can run that beat and play that beat almost the whole night in Meridian, bro. You got to switch it up, yeah, man. You got to play a lot of Jeezy, T.I., right. you know, a lot of, you know. Was that hard to transition? Make that transition? I, at first it was, but, you know, whenever you got all them thugs, like, hey, cool, change it up, cool. Right. Change it up, cool. <laughs> Just adapting. Change it up, cool. <laughs> all right, dog, let me do this for this dude here, but, you know. Yeah. But that's that's just a testament to your DJing skills. You were able to yeah. adapt, you know what I'm yeah. saying, and, and do what it takes to get the crowd moving. Overcome, yes, sir. I don't know if you know why I left the station. The because a lot of people be like, why did you even leave the station? I think you was moving, huh? Nah, it was before that. So I started get, getting kicked out of every. You know me and Valente were doing our thing around the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. and. I got kicked out of every building. Nobody would let me in their building because they were either fighting yeah. or shooting. So the last place I went to was the skating ring. And I go in there, tell him who I am. He said, okay, cool, you can throw a party here. And he called me back and said, nah, man, I heard about your kind. Little, exact, his exact words. Nah, I heard about your kind. I can't let you come in here. Wow. And I'm like, bruh. His name so was now, Dale, white dude named Dale. I can't even remember what his name was. Oh, wow. He used to say, I can't have your kind in here. Cause I had just had a party at the JC building, not the JC yeah. building, uh, the Wessler. Yeah. And uh, shooting, fighting, my security guards got maced in the face by one another. That's a whole nother story. So then I'm like, I'm faced with a decision. Cause you know, there's no no real money in uh, just being radio by itself. Not right. for, for at that time anyway. Yeah. And uh, couldn't get in the club. So I had to get a second job. So what right. I would do is I would go to my first job come back at five, I mean, get off at five, go straight to the station and do my shift. Mm. But uh, the guy upstairs hit me with an ultimatum. He yeah. said, well, we need you to do street team, you know, from whatever time to your shift. And I'm like, I can't, I need to pay these bills. Right. So he's like, you gotta make a decision. So I said, right, I quit. Right, damn, how's Nashville? I mean, I love it here, dog. Man, I love it in Nashville. Right now I'm in Murfreesboro, like 20 minutes out of Nashville. I started in Nashville, man, it's, it's a college out there in Murfreesboro, right? Yeah, MTSU. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. When I first got here, I tried to get on at the station. Well, we Kenny knew, Smith. Kenny, Kenny I about Smith. say yeah. I just about say that we all I knew. Kenny for you. We all knew Kenny Smooth. I thought I was a shoe in. I said, yeah, I man, we knew. Kenny for you. Yeah, man. He told me he didn't. I had too much experience for what he was looking for. He just wanted somebody to work the board. Damn. 
I said, bro, I don't mind starting from the bottom. I'm good. He said, nah, right. I'm going I'm to get one of these little college kids and do it. Right. I'm like, bro, try to get a couple clubs and you know what? Just leave it alone. Jumped into corporate America. Yeah. And you know, now I'm, I'm, I'm back trying to get in the podcast space. Yeah, right. I, I kind of miss radio. So yeah. I'm going to do this and then see where it go. Right. So you, you plan on, uh, uh, when you plan on retiring? You still love it? I still love it, man. You That's know, what's I up. got a passion for it. It's like, you know what I'm saying? We're not 105.7 no more, man. We're 95.1. 95.1. Okay. Yeah. And so now we got the kids, uh, old school station, and now we got a new gospel station. So, oh, really? So actually, yeah. So, you know, I'm actually the director of of urban programming. So I'm over all three stations now. Oh, wow. I'm over three stations. So, so don't tell about. I ain't going nowhere now for a minute. That's what I'm talking about. You actually the only one of us that's actually still on radio. Wow, that's, okay. that's pretty dope, though. I thought C was. Is it C doing something? Well, C the does. He does. Yeah, at the high school. Right. I think he like teach the high school kids how to uh, do radio, and they have a, a high school station. Okay. So that's okay. pretty dope, yeah. man. That's Appreciate pretty awesome. It. Yeah. I think you to me, you was always real consistent in what you did. You didn't. You didn't really waver. Like I said, I was a high head, and I think yeah. um, I remember when we first started uh we tried to dj together but it didn't work we kind of clashed on you know what we thought we should get or whatever right. and i think but in hindsight I man you just was consistent and right, it paid right. off i kept on trying to chase that that big book right. and, and see where it got me right right, right. <laughs> so i should i should have followed your lead man and you know did it did it the way you know you you, you wanted me to do it Right. But hey, hindsight is twenty twenty. Oh man, you good. But just always remember, you know what I'm saying? It's never a race, man. It's a marathon. I always do a best part, worst part of your experience in Meridian. Even though you're still there, so you're still experiencing things. Mm -hmm. But I always ask, what's the best part, worst part? Best part, freedom on the radio. Because we're not corporate. I play right. what I want, man. I play, right. you know, if it's hot in the streets, uh, you know, a NBA young boy mixtape song. Right. I'm playing it. Uh, uh, you know, that's like the best thing that you can hear the radio. But like, oh my goodness, man, they playing that on the radio. Dope. You know? Yeah. Worst yeah. part. Worst part. Oh man, they they want to hear too much of it. It's like okay, <laughs> they don't understand. You know, we have to. Um, you know, we more of like a balance. You know, what I'm saying we got to play something for the ladies, man. We have to play. You know, a lot of uh, you know, radio cuss, man. We can't just be gutter right. people gutter, so right. You know, sometimes they don't understand, and you know, they want their songs played immediately when they call. It don't work like that. Okay, so um, the next question is, what are you doing now? But like I said, I mentioned before, you um, you you're probably the only one that's still in radio, yeah. and you just three described stations. that you're over three stations now. So you actually uh, transitioned and evolved in yeah. Meridian. And I think that's pretty dope, man. You know, and so I, plus, I, plus I still do Monroe, I do uh, Dalton, Alabama, uh, Lake the mixes, Charles. right? Yeah, yeah, okay. I do mix show too. So you know, what I'm saying I got my stuff right there, man. You know, what I'm saying as soon as we finish the podcast, you know, I got work for my other station. So this yeah. work is a hustler, boy. That's what don't I'm talking stop. about. Dude, don't stop, don't stop. Now, let me ask you this last question. Mm -hmm. So I ask people to share um, uh, something about radio that the outside person wouldn't know or something that happens in the radio that the outside listener wouldn't know. Yeah. It's kind of hard for you to answer that question because you're still in it. But I like to tell people there's really no caller number 10. Whoever sound the crunkest, yeah. <laughs> whoever the loudest, yeah. whoever yeah. the crunkest, you yeah. yeah. win. Yeah. But if you don't feel yeah. comfortable answering that question, <laughs> nah. you want to uh. plead the fifth? No, nah, I said, I'm never going to play your song. If you say, hey, man, play my song, I say, okay, I got you. It's already programmed. So if it's not coming <laughs> up, if it's not in the computer, I'm not going to play it, but I'm lying to you and say, all right, I got you. Right, so, you the phone. so I'm going to break that down. So if you call the station and say, hey, can you play this song? You think he playing it because you asked for it. It was already in rotation to come up. It was up, already so. in rotation. It's already programmed. So it's now you feel, so, so they feeling special. Like, oh, he played my, yeah. yeah. That's mm -hmm. what's up, man. Man, I'm so looking forward to the reunion, man, where we can get everybody on here and just, you know, chop it up, laugh, and kick yeah. it, man. And I appreciate yeah. you sitting down with me, man. Like I said, I respect you. Appreciate you, Ted. Thank you, man. But look, man, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate you having me, man. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You know, um, you know uh, yourself and C Casual, myself, man, Grip. I mean, you know what I'm saying? People still talk about you know, the crew, you know what I'm saying? Right. Because, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm actually just keeping the thing alive, but, you know, you guys started, you know what I'm saying? I'm still, like, running with the torch, but, you know what I'm saying? I salute you guys for doing it, man. We, you know, we still got this thing going, man, for sure. For man, sure. I appreciate you holding it down, dog. 
But all right, man, you take it easy, man. You have a good night. Looking forward to seeing you in a few weeks, man. Uh, let's do it, man. I'm here. Appreciate y'all. Thank you, Ted. Stop you sure. later, dog. Take it easy. Yep. That's right. He did it. Mr. T-E-C. Down with your boy, D-A-B-I-D. Banner, baby. Mr. Mississippi himself. Yeah. Yeah.